This video reviews the EasyWire software license activation process required in versions 2021.2.0 and later. When installing the software, the end user is asked to review and accept the EasyWire end user license agreement. As a supplementary step, the license must also be activated to maintain the software's full functionality. If EasyWire was purchased with a new tester or if an upgrade was purchased separately, the activation of the associated license and software upgrades for a period of one year are included. After installing EasyWire, the software will be fully functional for 21 days. During this time, the main menu displays the status, Temporary License. If the license is not activated before the end of this period, the software will enter an edit-only mode, which supports editing functions, but which does not support tester control. The software will remain in this mode indefinitely unless the license is activated. Before starting the activation process, there are two key points to consider. First, verify which type of EasyWire installation you're working with. There are two types, test stations that share a network database using the Cirrus server software and test stations that don't, which we'll call standalone stations for clarity. As we'll see later, the activation process for each is slightly different. Initially, it's important to understand that all test stations that share a network database and the Cirrus server must be running the same version of software. Standalone testers can run different versions of EasyWire, but in such cases, it may not be possible to use test programs created under newer versions of EasyWire on test stations running older versions. Contact your Cirrus sales representative for further information on upgrading additional systems. Second, Prior to upgrading an existing installation of EasyWire, it's essential to back up the database, which is where the test programs, the connector registry, and test results are all stored. Backing up this important file provides a current restoration point should it be needed. Instructions for performing the backup can be found on the Cirrus website at backup.easy-wire.com. The link is included in the description below. The process of activating an EasyWire software license includes three steps. First, create the software license request file. Second, send the software license request file to your Cirrus sales representative. And third, import the license file provided by Cirrus in response. To create the license request file from the EasyWire main menu, click Activate License to open the Cirrus software license information window. This option is available if the license status is temporary or edit only. On test stations sharing a network database, this can be done from any test station sharing the database. On the License Information window, click Request License Activation. On the Request License Activation window, for test stations sharing a network database, after ensuring that the correct version of the EasyWire software has been installed on all stations sharing the network, click Generate License Request to create a license request file. The request automatically includes all stations that have previously logged into the EasyWire server as clients. File Explorer will open to the location where the file was saved. The file can be opened in a text editor to confirm that all the desired installations have been included. The machine ID and the machine name, both of which can be found on the license information window on each station, are included in separate sections of the file. On standalone stations, click Generate License Request to create a license request file. File Explorer will open to the location where the file was saved. If upgrading or installing EasyWire on multiple standalone stations, save the file to a USB flash drive and repeat the process for each station on which the software is being installed or upgraded. This will create a separate license request file for each station. Email the license request file, or the multiple files, to your Cirrus sales representative. Cirrus will provide a single license file in response, regardless of the number of stations involved. After receiving the license file, save it to a location that will be accessible to the PC on which the EasyWire software is installed. On test stations sharing a network database, the license file can be imported from any test station sharing the database. On standalone stations, the single license file must be imported on each station for which activation was requested. 
To import the license file, open the license information window by clicking Activate License on the main menu and select Import License File. On the window that opens, navigate to and select the license file, which will have a .tof file name extension. Back on the Import File window, click Import Selected File. A message indicating that the license file was successfully imported is displayed at the end of the process. The license information window now shows an active license status and the duration of the upgrade eligibility period. The main menu also now displays the status active license. Other stations sharing a network database can be manually prompted to recognize the updated license status by clicking Activate License on the EasyWire main menu. Restarting EasyWire will also prompt the software to recognize the new license status. Once the license has been activated, the license information window can be accessed by clicking View License on the main menu. Contact your Cirrus sales representative to extend the upgrade eligibility period or to purchase software upgrades after the eligibility period has expired. It's helpful to note that the software license only needs to be activated one time. After activation, the version installed and any versions installed during the upgrade period will be fully functional indefinitely. Subsequent license updates renewing or extending the upgrade eligibility period are imported using the same license file import process. Finally, if the test station PC on which the software is installed cannot transfer files using a USB flash drive, email, or a network, follow the alternate manual license activation process described in the EasyWire help. The help also documents the complete license activation process described here. It can be accessed by clicking the Help button on the License Information window or by searching License or License Manager in the help. As always, your Cirrus sales and support representatives are glad to provide any assistance you may need.